calculator is one application that we use in our day to day lives. The calculator is a program which is very simple and easy at the same time. Just few lines of code. Shall we learn together? Hi, this is Ava Vajay. Hope you all are doing safe and keeping fine. Welcome back to the Python learning series of Seamless Info YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to learn how to make a very simple and easy calculator in Python. If you are watching this channel for the first time, I request you to consider subscribing this channel which will really encourage me to come up with more informative videos. When we learn Python, the first thing we would want to code is a calculator, right? So here we go. Wait, but before we start, let's keep few things in mind. Here we will be using variables, input function, print function, conditional statements and automatic operators. Variables, input function and print function have been explained in my previous video. So I am not repeating that. You may refer the i button above. Now coming to conditional statements. In this program, we need multiple conditions. So to keep it very simple, we use the if elif else statement. This statement provides a compact way to perform multiple tests on a condition. Now let us see what is automatic operators. As you know that every calculator needs operators, right? In Python, we mostly use 7 operators. Addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, remainder, flow division and exponential. The symbols for these operators in Python is quite different. For addition and subtraction, it is the same. But for multiplication, it is the asterisk symbol. For division, it is the forward slash. For remainder, it is the modular operator or as we know it as percentage symbol. For exponential form, it is two asterisk symbols. And for flow division, it is two forward slashes. The difference between division and flow division is that when we do division, it divides the number and gives the output in decimal format. But when we do flow division, it divides the number and gives the output in integer form. So let's start coding. You're with me, right? Here we are going to use three variables. First variable is the first number which the user inputs. Second variable is what kind of automatic operator the user needs to do. Third variable is the second number which the user inputs. So we get the result according to these three inputs. So first, let's take a variable as num1 to store the first user input. So here we are going to use float. Float is the data type used for the data to be in decimal form. So then we use input function to accept input from the user. So num1 is equal to float input enter the first number. Then we take a second variable as op which means the operator where we take the input operator from the user. So, op is equal to input, enter a automatic operator. Now, we take the third user input as the third variable. This variable, we'll call it as num2. So, num2 is equal to float, input, enter the second number. Then we check if the automatic operator given by the user is addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. So if op is equal to plus, that means addition, then print num1 plus num2. If the input is not addition, let's move on to subtraction. Elif op is equal to minus. Print num1 minus num2. If the input is not addition or subtraction, then we move on to the next operator. So we write elif op is equal to multiplication print num1 multiply by num2. Elif op is equal to divide then num1 divided by num2. Finally, if the user types operator that is invalid, then we type the code as else print the operator you have typed is invalid.
Now let's execute the program. You can just click F5. Now enter the first number. Let's say 10. Now enter the operator. Let's say plus symbol of addition. Now enter the second number. Let's say 2. Now we got the output as 12. Now let's check if the error statement is working or not. Here we will give something else as the automatic operator as we mentioned earlier. Let's execute it again. Entering the first number as 5. Now entering the automatic operator as just say hashtag. Now enter the second number as 10. Now let's see what output we are getting. We are getting the result as the operator you have typed is invalid. You may do the same coding and try with other operator what we defined earlier and test all the scenarios. I hope this information will kickstart your learning about Python. We'll meet again with another informative video. Stay home and be safe. Ava Vajay signing off.